Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis Episode 8 with our series here, our random planet playthrough. We've got uh, two culture points. We're going to go ahead and spend another one now. We'll have to wait the allotted amount of time to be able to spend the uh, other one. But that's good. That puts us in a uh, good place. 25% independence. So we're quarter of the way there. Or I'm sorry, um, one-fourth of the way there. A quarter of the way, yeah. Duh. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go ahead and take a look at everything here. I've let the planet run for a very long time now. You can see here we're bringing the heat back up with our heating cluster that we built, which is good. We're almost back to the goal. Meanwhile, with pressure, it's in a pretty comfortable spot. We're going to leave it alone. Oxygen almost to our goal. We're so close now. We've almost got an oxygen-rich atmosphere. That's uh, pretty exciting. And then for water, we're not too concerned about it. We're just le letting it do its thing right now. Uh, well as we hang tight. As for money, we're doing pretty good there. And so there's not really a whole lot to go over except you can see we've got a fat stack of cash up here. And we have finished our research for the hab domes so now we'll be able to start putting hab domes down but i'm going to start doing research to be able to counter the hab dome so obviously plus 10 oxygen plus 20 water we're gonna have to come up with ways to combat all of these um the electrosis plants probably one of the best ways to do it but then we get plus 20 let's see plus let's see plus if it's a plus 20 water so two of them would be minus 40 and then but you'll have plus 30 oxygen because you'll have two hab domes which is 20 plus the the uh, 10 from the electrosis plant so plus 30 so how do you combat that plus 30 if we build two side uh, cyanovats then that'll allow for um, a bunch of hab domes no, not Sinovats. We'd have to build ah, the Carbon Fixer. Or better yet, I think Water's got the Ice Launcher, which is usually a better, a better one. So if we get the Ice Launcher, that'll get rid of a bunch of the water. And the Hydrogen Hydro Generator will get rid of Oxygen, and it adds water, which the, uh, the um, ice launcher will offset as well. So all we have to worry about is the minus 10 pressure, which can be easily offset with thermal dust. Okay, so that's probably the route we're going to take when we start building hab domes. We're not going to build the hab domes, so we've got the technology to do that, which means we've got to tech our way up to the up to the ice launcher. But there's also a couple of other things I need. Holy crap. Crazy storm outside just rolled in on my house right now, and it's like unbelievable. All right, it's a like super windy and heavy rain. It just came out of nowhere. It's like blowing my mind a little bit. Okay, <laughs> trying to stay on topic. The spaceport. We need to get a spaceport as well. With a spaceport, we should actually be able to build hab domes on the moon. I believe that's how it works. So we'll want to work towards that. But let's. Uh, Let's see, what do we really want? Do we want to start getting hab domes now? Or do we want to focus on getting one of these up? Temperature is going to be there in good time. Pressure is fine. Oxygen is going to be there. So the only thing would be stuff to increase or decrease water. Um, we've already gotten... Oh, we haven't gotten anything for water yet. I thought we got a cloud seeder. So what is raising water? I know the frozen and ice, global warming. Okay, so I guess that's just that. That's fine. Um, so then we're definitely going to want to start getting some water stuff. So let's get the cloud seeder going. And then eventually we'll want to get the geocistern too. I want to make sure I've got at least the basics of everything. We need the sequestration plant. And then, yeah, we'll have the basics of everything, which will be good. All right, nice. So is there anything I could do to help increase these? We will need a water colony at some point. Plus four. So. Wow, that was uh, thunder. 
I wasn't joking about that storm rolling in. Hopefully I don't, uh, lose power. Pretty nuts. Um, just bleh. Sorry, it's got me distracted. Um, two, okay, 287. So, do I want to try to raise this a little bit more? I think I do. We should have a temp colony here. And we already have a cooling plant built. We could build another heating cluster, or we could just go ahead and upgrade this one. Why don't we just focus on upgrading this one now that these can be altered anyways. That's not a half bad idea. Um, I don't want to build any more, ha or I don't want to upgrade my hab units because we're going to replace them with hab domes very soon. I do need a water colony at some point, but we'll hold off on that as well. The oxygen plants perfectly fine the way they are. Um, pressure we're not going to touch. I think founders I've already cleaned it out, so it's ready for hab domes to move in. As soon as we've got the tech to support that. Um, we've got plenty of outposts, building stuff here. So I think we're kind of set. So that kind of shows you guys where we're at right now. It could be a little bit short of an episode, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose power here. Um, and I don't want to lose my progress. But uh, we don't have a whole lot anyways going on. We're just kind of updating, letting you guys know what's happening. I'll let the game run throughout the day today, and then I'll revisit it um, later tonight. And we'll see what everything looks like. And we'll have uh, a little bit more tech. And then I'll probably start teching towards what's going to help us get the hab domes, because I think that's going to be the next big step. I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.